Hi, my name is Linda Shepard and I'm going to give you a few tips on managing um, your food budget. Over here we have our lunch menu and we have different names of different children that um, cook dinner each night and we change that and we can um, take just the right erase and change the, the meals when we need to because we need to be flexible with our busy, hectic, hectic life. Uh, this is our lunch menu and this is our dinner menu. Each month we start with kind of a tentative idea and then we kind of adapt it as we go along. So if you notice on here we have different prices with different meals. So we have a budget of $600 a month and we try to spend, you know, less, less than that budget. So basically, a family of 15, $20 a day is our, is our goal of our food budget. And if we have less than that, we're able to go out on some of these days, maybe go to a um, buffet restaurant or get pizza if we meet our goal of under $600 a month. So it keeps us all motivated. It keeps the, everyone motivated to keep the costs low so that we have a reward in the end. And how we keep this budget this way, I'll show you a couple things, are we write on things that we buy the price. So when I buy it, I just come in and I take out the receipt and I write down how much it costs. And so if we spend $1.99, we make use this whole box, that's how much our meal costs plus a portion of you know whatever else we add to that. Um, some of these items, 98 cents, we'll then add plain noodles that we get in bulk to a box. So we use it just as a starter. The same with this Asian rice is 98 cents. We just add regular rice that we can buy, you know, 25 pounds of rice for $10 and add to it. And there's various, sometimes we get things that are dinged up and was a dollar fifty, so we'll make a box of potatoes as a, as a side item um, and then add, add other things to our meal. These as well that I just bought today and had not written down. We would just go and write down, you know, how much this cost, and then we'd estimate if we use a third of it or half of it, and then everyone just keeps track. It's a general idea so that we're continually reminding ourselves um, just how much um, how much we're spending, so that we're accountable for um, our finances and we're aware of you know, just what it, what it actually costs. It's also a good homeschool tool on math so that they can get out a calculator and figure out if this was $1.67 and we only used a, a third of it, how much would it, how much did we spend? So those kinds of things are just a real short idea of one of the ways we save money and I will, um, do some other videos later on different parenting tips. Thank you.